Hello children and welcome back. Today we will continue with the second chapter in geography, endogenetic movements. So children, in the last two videos we learned about the slow movements. Today we will begin with the second point that is sudden movements. So children, what are sudden movements? Sudden movements are caused due to certain endogenetic forces which come from deep into the earth. They are very sudden and can cause massive destruction to the earth's surface like earthquakes and volcanoes. So children, first let us learn about how earthquakes occur. So, because of the movements occurring in the interior of the earth, tremendous tension is created in the earth's crust. When the tension goes beyond limits, the energy is released in the form of waves. These waves are trembling on the surface of the earth, which occurs in the form of earthquake the magnitude of the earthquake is measured by richer scale now let us see what causes earthquakes so children earthquakes are caused because of the moving of plates you can see in the picture the plates are moving and then when the plates move they collide and after they collide the plates slide one below the other forming of fractures and rock layers due to tension in the interior of the earth because of which there are volcanic eruptions. Now let us move to focus and epicenter. So children, because of the movements occurring below the earth's surface, tension is created and it keeps on accumulating. High energy is released at the place where this tension mounts up. This is the center of the earthquake. It is called the focus or hypocenter. Energy waves scatter in all directions from this center. The place on the earth's surface where these energy waves reach first is called the epicenter of the earthquake. It is the nearest place on the earth's surface from the focus and it experiences the first tremor. The epicenter is perpendicular to the focus. When the tension is released at the focus, the released energy travels in all directions. This energy comes toward the earth's surface in the form of waves. So children, what are seismic waves? Seismic waves are waves of energy that travel through the earth's layers and are a result of earthquakes. Volcanic eruptions, magma movement, large landslides and large man-made explosions are caused because of these seismic waves. So children, the seismic waves are divided into three. The first one is the primary waves, which is also called as the P waves. The second is the secondary waves 
which is also called as the S waves. The third one is the surface waves, which is also called as the L waves. So children, in front of you is the diagram of seismic waves, which shows all the waves that are there, like the primary waves, the secondary waves, surface waves. You can also see the epicenter and focus and the earth's surface. You can see the surface which is totally destroyed because of the earthquake. Now, let us understand the first wave that is the primary waves. These are the waves which come or reach the surface first when the energy is emitted in the earth's interior. They travel at a very fast speed from the focus of the earthquake in radial direction subjected to a P wave. Particles in the rock move in the direction of waves to and fro. The waves move to and fro Therefore, these waves are also called forward-backward waves. These waves can travel through all the three states, that is, liquid, solid and gaseous. But, while traveling through liquid medium, their direction changes. It is because of the primary waves that the building on the Earth's surface move back and forth. So children, now let us understand the secondary waves. These waves reach the earth's surface after the primary waves are called secondary waves. These waves also scatter in all directions from the focus of the earthquake. Their velocity is lesser than the P waves, that is the primary waves. The particles lying in the way of these waves move up and down in the direction of the energy transfer. These waves can travel only through the solid medium. They get absorbed as they enter the liquid medium. The buildings on the earth's surface move up and down because of these waves. These waves are more destructive than the primary waves. So children, now let us understand the surface waves. These are the slowest moving seismic waves which is also called as the L waves. They cause the most damage to the earth because they bend and twist the earth's surface. These waves are generated after the main primary and secondary waves reach the epicenter. They travel in the direction of the circumference of the earth along the crust and they are very destructive. So children, here we have an activity where you need to hang a heavy bag or pouch on the hook of a spring. Balance as you can see in the picture in front of you. After that, you need to pull the bag down and release it and observe the spring and note the movements of the spring. Now children, what did you observe? We observed that the movement of the spring moves in the direction of the waves, that is, to and fro. So these waves are called as 
primary waves this is another activity now you need to observe the students standing holding the ends of a rope if one student gives a jerk to the rope by pulling it up and down with his hand observe what happens now children what did you observe we observed that the energy is traveling along the rope the waves move along the rope by moving a section of up then down which is similar to the secondary waves this is the last activity here you need to spread rangoli on a large plate as shown in the picture now flick the lower side of the plate slightly with your finger observe what happens now students after doing this activity we observe that when we flick the lower side of the plate we observe that the rangoli powder on the plate fly up along the circumference of the plate which is similar to the surface waves so children what is a seismograph a seismograph or a seismometer is an instrument that is used to record the motion of the ground during an earthquake and seismogram is the recording of the ground shaking at the specific location of the instrument so how does a seismograph work the instrument is simply a vibrating rod on a pendulum which starts vibrating when there is motion on the ground a pen or a marker is attached to to the pendulum and the pen records the seismic waves on a paper which moves so children a pendulum tip records the earthquake on a graph sheet now children let us see the effects of the earthquakes you can see in the picture cracks or fractures are developed when an earthquake takes place landslides are caused which leads to sliding of rocks sometimes the ground water changes its course for example wells may get water or may dry up some areas gets uplifted while some may subside or may go down children tsunamis are also generated in oceans because of these earthquakes these waves can cause great loss of life and property in the coastal areas in snow covered areas avalanches may occur buildings collapse and loss of life and property occurs transportation routes get disrupted and communication system also collapses so children with this we stop here for today the next part that is the last one volcanoes will be explained to you in the next video